the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Please sit if you can. Please sit if you can. Just, just... Bring everybody out now who begins to shout under the anointing. Whether inside or outside. I'm seeing angelic activities. The Lord is bringing an end to very strange, mysterious occurrences. Bring them. Everywhere, all over the overflows. There's something mysterious God is removing from lives and families. Bring them out. We're talking about the power of Jesus here. Bring them out. You can't stand it. It's not, it is, this is a word from God. God is separating you. He's bringing something out. You will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this. Remember, Christ is revealed as the power of God. There are still more people. I saw so many people in my visions. That anointing is coming on you. All over the overflow outside. Literally, an anointing will lift you from your seat. Literally. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus, let the end come now captivity always has an end let the end come now around the balconies i'm seeing angelic activities around the balconies in the name of jesus let the end come now let the end come now in the name of jesus christ let the end you you can't stand this is the power of god come who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Just the patient will take the testimonies but God is doing something here right now I'm looking at 14 people 14 people I'm looking at you in the spirit but I'm not seeing a face I'm seeing you covered you know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood the Lord is lifting that hood right now that is the garment of shame 14 people the power of God is coming on you now 14 people the garment of shame the garment of shame parakotos kedepata we tear off that garment now from your destiny tear off that garment from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ
that lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now who is chinedu i'm hearing a name chinedu who is that chinedu now the overflow outside i want you to prepare i want to pray a prayer for you something is going to happen outside the overflow outside who is chinedu where are you from my friend i'm no, from this man abia state. huh abia state abia state yes i want to pray for you do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will leave them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity huh? yes. that was worshipped. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, did yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes, yes. What did they tell you about the deity? that there is a deity that was worshipped yes i want to pray for you huh yes. because i see you you are a sincere man but if i don't help you you are rising and going down you are rising no no give him the mic and you are going down i want to pray for you there's nothing to cry about my friend please look up so that we'll save time don't be afraid in the name of jesus father i pray right now i use him as a point of contact <laughs> isn't it amazing I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. You, Jesus. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking, but the power of God is touching you because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chine, do all of you? I will pray with you. There's one of you here, when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call because you need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I command that spirit, anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back, paraka shobratike baratuzia, ancestral worship, ancestral worship ancestral worship worship of deity there are some of you here you even see these deities appear to you right now i command by the power of the holy ghost let them go now release their names every name submitted in any shrine submitted before any altar for your destruction i declare be free now Help that man be free now i set that shrine and that altar on fire on fire let them go now let them go now hallelujah and for all of you who are here in the name of jesus the power of god is coming on one of you right now one of you the china dudes. i don't know who but i just saw an anointing coming on you in the name of jesus I decree and declare God is taking something out of your body I declare be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ now please hear me don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed this is a miracle service there is someone is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest like like a um, um, what they call them now who is that person I want to pray for you something is happening here directly I don't mean maybe directly your father a priest a have like a i don't want to use a a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here
Your name is to be hallowed. Your name is to be worshipped. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please, don't listen carefully. Don't misunderstand me. We are not saying you are evil people and we are not saying your parents, they, they, I'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices. Listen, there is one of you here, don't feel bad. I'm going to pray for you. What your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people and the causes of so many people are on that family listen to me what i'm telling you because i well i don't know now it's difficult to i'm i have to just obey what god is telling me please don't come out carelessly i'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family we're all from africa i mean if your father directly was involved in this no no if they if they are there let them i will pray for them but one of you i'm sorry to use that expression your father is a herbalist he has been responsible for the death of many people including a man of god and there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family we have to pray again this is a family of love i hope you understand what i'm doing and please we are not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people remember that the anointing comes jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation because there are some of you here you will think it's a joke the the ill speaking of people as a result of diabolic things do you know that every herbalist has children and when you say oh god destroy those who have caused me pain what do you think you are saying hallelujah young lady my dear look at me this fair lady where are you from Where? Huh? Christ Eva. Ah, Jesus Christ. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Ah. My goodness, my God. You see, let me tell you this. Please hold on. Um, you know, when I teach, it's good to listen to me, listen to everything I'm saying. And I'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages. Make sure that when you are putting these things, you put everything we say. Don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people. There are two families here, married couple. This is the real cause of the problem in your marriage. The cause that has come as a... It, it's all right, my friend. What is it? You're a herbalist? My father is a sorcerer. Huh? sorcerer. Your, my father. No, no, don't worry. Don't feel bad. Eh? Where are you coming from? I'm from Edo. I Don't worry, I'll pray with you. Parents, let's repent and serve Jesus. You see, all this trouble that people, parents, I mean fathers, grandfathers, and you, if you are coming from a family of idol worship, don't let idol worship come out of you. Be that bridge. Are we together? Look how many people are here. All of these people will be married. Some are married. What do you think will happen to that home? Some are in business. This is why you can invite somebody and say, come, let's do business together. You just thought that you are inviting just a body. But you may not know you are inviting altars. And every time believers pray and say, God, punish evildoers. What do you think will happen? That's why it takes the ministry of the blood. We just finished a ministry on deliverance. This particular lady I just prayed for from Cross River. I need to pray because there is something terrible in this family one of you here your father has to, is it your father or from your lineage you are supposed to literally take over the priesthood who is that person directly oh, and they have been calling you as you are now come come and stand here let god help you i don't mean a vision no they've told directly they are calling you now that you should come and take it ah. lord of heaven don't listen listen please let's let's be orderly here this is the house of god let them come forward where are you from my friend huh emo state sir emo state yes sir i want to pray for you 
you see my friends when jesus comes he truly can set free this gentleman now they are calling him do you know what happens when you reject that call if you do not know jesus christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence you will not have a life again that altar will tear anything if you are married sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding look at this fine young man but these wicked altars this guy probably went to school and yet the altars don't care my friend look at me do you believe in jesus christ yes i do yes sir is it your father my grandfather sir your grandfather yes sir. he's still alive no he's gone he's gone yes sir. and you are supposed to take over yes from my maternal home from your maternal home yes how about you my friend my grandfather and when he died his picture disappeared so i was told that i'm the uh, my auntie the elder uh, uh, father, my elder uh, fathers called me that i should come to the home before she died that i should come there's a message for me and i'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe you are the one who is supposed to yes take but God has called me as a pastor. That's all right. How about you? Mine, it was my grandfather. My father was the only son. So when he died, my father was supposed to take over. But my father refused, became a pastor, and was frustrated. Now, I am the only son of my father. In other words, if my father took over, I'm the one that's supposed to take over from him. Both of us are in ministry, but frustrated. You and your father are both in ministry? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Currently, my father's two legs is currently swollen up down to his private part very terrible situation battling with life right now you see what i'm saying i hope i'm not getting you to be afraid but i'm just telling you that when god puts a miracle service like this believe me you don't want to know what people are going through my friend this man this one lifting his hand yes there is a serious prayer i need to pray for you talk to me sir i was told that my father has a call of god upon his life but he chose it the wrong way and since i was growing up i was told that I am going to take the place of my father. Now he is late. Where is your father? He's late now. Listen sir. to me. Don't feel bad. Mistakes were made. It's a wrong group that led him. I will not say more than that. But he was involved in things he should not do. Do you understand? And the every deity, alive or dead, every priesthood behind any altar. That is troubling your life. Parakatoshkete mekatabata. Manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree right now let fire fall now. Help them. Let fire fall now. Let fire fall now every occultic initiation they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices i declare be delivered now hear me and for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of Jesus any altar that will not let you go I stand right now as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ you see there are two sides to God there is lion and lamb it depends on which one you choose to see in the name of Jesus every altar alongside the priest behind it I command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them swallow them swallow them in the name of Jesus hallelujah therefore I declare all of you who are out here I declare you free by the Spirit of God go and prosper in Jesus name you see let me give you an advice if you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood don't be lukewarm in your christianity because you either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with god if you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation these altars will tear you you hear what this my my dear friend is saying your father is now paralyzed 
Huh? His two legs are having problem. Completely. Completely, the two legs. And he's a pastor. Yes, sir. Where is he? In Kogi, sir. In Kogi? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kogi, sir. I'm a Nigala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, yeah? Thank you, sir. And the Lord will help you. Amen. There are many things you need to know, but then God will help you. Amen. Listen and learn and grow. Amen. Father, use him mightily. Amen. The Lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a place called Aimba. Do you know that? I'm seeing the power of God rest on people right now who are from that region. Listen, listen carefully. I just saw fire and I saw that name. Everyone who comes from that region, if there is any altar that is holding you down, I, I'm not asking you to come out. You can just remain there for sake of time. Listen, I'm praying now. Help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things. By the blood of the eternal covenant, be free now. In Jesus' name. Those who came out for that call, whether you are standing at the aisles, go back rejoicing in Jesus' name. Go back rejoicing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, there is someone, this is strange. There's someone, the Lord is asking me to pray for you. You deal in spare parts. That's what you do. But I need, I don't know why God will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you. Is there someone like that? I don't mean you are just, you are, this is what you do. I want to pray for you. Because the salvation of many people is connected to you. When you find that person, please let me, let me have that person. We're about to pray. Let's take a few testimonies to glorify Jesus. Who is ready? Who is this one? Why is he here? You are healed? Spare part. Where? In our person. In the name of Jesus Christ. You too? Okay, so join him. Let me just pray for you. Even though in my vision, this, these are not the people I'm seeing, but then I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help these people. It may look like what they are doing is small, but I prophesy to you that though your beginning be small, your latter end will greatly increase. May the Lord prosper you. And he's prospering you not just for your sake. He's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones. Because you need to be there for them. He's raising you as a savior. May he honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Okay, very quickly, let's have the testimonies. Yes, All sir. Right. Um, so, Apostle, she came in here with very severe pains in her throat. She Pain in your throat? Yes, sir. How many years, my dear? Sir, I, I normally have a uh, sore throat. Okay. So, but, when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it yes. would be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of, of throat pain. Yes. And the pain and the pain Completely disappeared. Gone. I can swallow throat like, uh, spit now. In no the pain name again. of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Amen. It never returns to you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Then, sir, we have two fantastic testimonies again. Yes, please. You spoke about people that, you know, had been stammering. And okay. And they were healed. So I've been stammering for like 20 years. So it's been very difficult to talk. Somehow. Stammering? Yes. You are yes, sure sir. of that? Yes, sir. Who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? Tell us. We've been friends from secondary school. You've like. been friends from secondary school. Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer. Yes, sir. Right now. Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came. Yes, sir. And right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, should not perish but have eternal life. But have eternal Come on, life. give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. 
in the name of Jesus my friend it will never return to you and and for this good friend for coming to encourage him in the name of Jesus may good things look for you in the name of Jesus Christ yes please let me hear the testimony of you all right sir so it's similar case Praise God. boy how are you I'm fine sir what is your name Alvin Alvin. What happened to him? Who brought him? Sir, he, he actually was healed from stammering too. Oh, you were healed from stammering. I was yes, wondering sir. why the boy was there. Okay. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, the boy is crying. Stretch your hands towards this boy. Let's ask the Lord to use him. These are the kinds of things we want. When this boy becomes a preacher, he will remember his stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry. Don't despise him. When you see an adult, you have seen what he will become. But when you see a little boy like this, pray for him. Father, use this boy mightily. It's been our prayer for many years that Koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of God. And it is still our prayer. May the Lord use you mightily in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate him. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who have surgery done in their tie, not properly done. This lady came. The surgery was done 15 years ago. Let, let her speak. Um, the surgery was done. It was from an accident. You had an accident. Yes. How long? 15 years ago. And what happened? Um, femoral fracture. Uh -huh. So it happened that the bone didn't join properly. So um, one inch, one leg is longer than one by one inch. I'm not able to stand on the other leg. And lately it has been paining me. So I went to do a straight. Okay. So said, you I couldn't stand on the other leg. Yes, and severe pain. Okay. Lately. And right now, there's no pain. Actually. Completely. Which of the legs? This right. Match with it. Let me see. I've been standing on it for. A oh, while you've been standing now. on it. Look yes. at. She couldn't stand on it. She came here with the pain today. You came in with the pain. Yes, sir. Walk. But now she's healed. Any pain? Any pain? The same case for our brother here yes. four years ago. What happened to four you? Four years ago. Sir, four years ago, I have an accident when I'm working in Philly Station. So all of a sudden, I was treated by all those traditional medicine. I have been seated for more than one year on the floor receiving my treatment. So look at the evidence. The leg is not even set because of the injury on my leg. So it used to inch me sometimes, the leg used to hold me. Wherever I'm even praying, I can't even do this on my own. But after the prophecy, I key to the prophecy, all of a sudden, as you declare, yes. instantly the pain just went off. Hallelujah. Stand up, my friend. Stand up. Please come. That's not why you came out. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. You see, the association you are part of determines what happens to you. You are a great man, but it's, it's not for me to speak, I'm on air, but something has been done to you. You are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served. And they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically. This is a demonic thing. You need to be delivered now. I stretch my hands. I release you from that spirit. Out of him now! In the name of Jesus Christ. It is true you are really called to be a prophet. But not by this thing. You see, if God does not open your eyes, your eyes cannot be opened. All these things, I'm, I'm, not, being, I'm not being sarcastic. But all these things, they, they drag you to the river and all of this. There is a scriptural way to obtain grace. And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people. But let's be careful. When you, you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture. This person is not a bad person. Are we together now? And I'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry, but we have to be careful. In the name of Jesus, again, I set you free. This spirit that appears to you, let him go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is, there is a wicked pattern. Southern Kaduna. God is going to use you as a mighty vessel. I'm releasing this grace on you. Mighty vessel. 
there are people within that region that God will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give Jesus praise. You gave word of knowledge for those with bleeding gums. She had had the challenge for four years. For bleeding, those who? Bleeding and swollen gums. She has, she has gone to the confidence, used her tongues. It's no longer bleeding. Bleeding again. what? Gum. Gum. For how long? For over four years now, sir. And right now? It's gone. Like gone it's completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very Short quickly. sightedness from birth. Healed from by birth. The, from birth. Now she can What see couldn't you see? Like, um, colors. Colors. And then letters. It's really hard. But while we were preaching, I felt heat all over my face. So I had to sit down. And then when I got up, everywhere was beautiful. Everywhere was beautiful. And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what is in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please come. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, apostles. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year. And while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast and I refused. Immediately I woke what up kind from of a dream. You, you, you see how my these right Luciferian dreams are? You, hold on, please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture. I have taught you. When you get up, don't just record it and leave it there. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Every dream is a seed. By the principle of biology, a seed is are you understanding not not meeting you have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen so that dream is a seed you can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest or you can reject it barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man that means you have the power to reject certain seeds like this kind of demonic seed so you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast. Okay. I refuse in the dream. So when I wake up immediately. You know those the I Bible noticed. called dogs? You see that? Yes. So I noticed I fasted and I prayed about it. After what some happened time, now? I started feeling the pain three days ago. I went to the hospital for checkup yesterday. Yes. They perpetrated my breast. There is not no seed and not nothing. Today, when I came to the side, the breast was paining me. So I touched it. I'm not feeling any pain again. It's gone completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, for both of you, I decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, sir. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now, she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's... Uh, 10 years ago, Straight I had Straight to the a point, dream. madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So, ever since, I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body. While you were given the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing. So I had to come out. Even while we we're saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing here, like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo that snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil, I command it to leave you now. Yeah. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's give Jesus praise. Next, please. Very quickly. Uh, mommy, here the same thing since 2009. Something has been moving in What happened body. to mama? Let her speak. Very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair. And since then, it doesn't grow. And Your hair doesn't... Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yeah. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Script here, 13 years ago. 13 years. Here, script. Let us speak, ma. So, 
I was sleeping and I dreamt and in the dream uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I pray this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they're having experiences beginning from the dream. But then it is manifesting physically. I pray for someone here. Everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of destruction. I declare be free now. Be free now. I sanctify your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. But since then, the hair refused to grow. The I, hair refused to grow. It refused. I have. I don't even sleep. I pray. I'm not sure I'm hearing her well. Hold I on. I pray and pray and pray and pray and What do you pray. mean the hair refused to grow? There's nothing there. I'm bald around here, but I, normally I, I have really thick, long hair. But they shaved it all around like that. And I don't see how a woman can be bald on top. Oh my I'm God! Around this, and then things started moving in my body, and then things started changing. My my um, favors started going away. I would yes. go to work, and people would turn against me. I'll be nice to people, and they would Th turn against me. That's all right, ma'am. I'm going to pray for you. Thank God you came for the miracle service. She I pray for you. The US. you she, she came, came from, from the U.S. US. Yes, sir. My God. You see, whether you are in America, whether you are in London, once it is altars, they will fish you there and accept the power. The Bible says that except one greater than he comes to bind the strong man. Look at mama all the way from US. Look at this kind of evil on this woman. If the hair of Samson grew back, then I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Madam, please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus Christ, between now and the next three months, we declare supernaturally, let your hair grow back. And all these doors of favor that have been closed, I declare in Jesus' name, let it be open for you. We declare that as you return back to US, it will be strange testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, for four years, she for 17 years, you spoke about, you know, people lactating and God healing them. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm here to testify to the goodness of God because I've been lactating for more than four years. I went to the hospital and they checked me and they said, um, it's normal, but I know it's not normal because I'm not pregnant, there's nothing wrong with me. So when they were praying, I could not even wait for the prayers to finish. I ran to the restroom. I made sure that I used the energy in me to press and nothing came out. Four years. How about you, my dear? Yes, um, for 17 years I've had this issue, but it became more obvious after my surgery. My right ovary was taken in 2019, taken out. You had so, a surgery? Yes, sir. Oh my Ovarian God. cyst. So I wake up soaked most times, or if I press the breast, it comes out like it's a, a straight movement. So after you prayed, last year you prayed about it and it stopped. Do but you have children? A, no, sir. I'm not married. You're not married? No, sir. And yet the surgery, you're, oh my God. Can I pray for you? Do you believe God can give you brand new ovaries? My dear, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe I will pray for you? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Place it. You just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank the doctors for doing their best. But right now, the same power that created the heavens and the earth, I stretch my hands. Right now, brand new ovaries. Agree with her, brand new ovaries. Amen. And I use her as a point of contact to pray for anyone here, trusting God for a creative miracle. Perhaps by surgery or whatever, something has been taken from your body. In the name of Jesus, weep not, for the Lord is giving you a brand new one. Amen. Let me tell you the truth. In my lifetime, I will tell you this. If I'm joking, you will know I'm joking. I have seen someone who they performed surgery they removed one of the bones and put metal god is my witness they put metal and the person was supposed to live with it like that 
and the person met me because he had a condition there's something the people feel i don't know if it's that during rainy season or when the weather is cold or something of that sort it will affect the person imagine like putting you know something that can absorb cold inside the person i was angry in my spirit i laid two of my hands not one two of my hands and cried to the god of heaven that person went back this is a miracle that happened many years ago the doctor was shocked i spoke with the doctor myself they did the x-ray they could not find any metal there again i know that jesus can create new organs and my dear i pray for you again don't cry you may not know what this means to her as a woman but in the name of jesus christ let there be a creative miracle now in jesus name i pray and for the dear one four years the lord perfects you in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly next apostle six months no menses i've been having menstrual complication and hormonal imbalance i can't even count my period but for six months now i've not seen it so i woke up with faith that will see it i even took extra pad i wore pad so when i came he said we should go and check so immediately I, I just saw it i just saw my period can you imagine six months hormonal imbalance last year i had bleeding serious bleedings like i was giving birth like too much i was even scared of even my message to come so it sits for six months now bless your hand on your stomach father in the name of jesus we normalize everything in your body now it will function for you normally after the order of women amen. every abnormality and complication we cause it now amen. this miracle remains permanent for you amen. in jesus name please return back celebrating yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge for difficulty in breathing and abdominal pain yes Three of them they were healed by the power of god let me hear yes yeah, for the past two weeks i've been dealing with shortness of breath and abdominal pain from the residue of an illness i've been battling but instantly the anointing came on me and I, i've been healed in the name of jesus it will never return to you again Same by the power of the holy jesus spirit all three of I'm you my i decree and declare in jesus name let there be supernatural healing for you right now it will never return again in jesus name you gave word of knowledge of people that eat and throw backward days now these are i mean twins twin brother ruminates that is he eats them bring it back and they eat it again like rumi, ruminant animals for years so why you well, raise the on. prayer what, what do you mean eat and bring it brings it back where he will throw up you throw up no you eat like and ruminate you chew the cord oh, you, like I what you are eating you bring it back let again. her speak no she's not the one he's our twin brother uh, let us still speak what happened to him the thing is that for more than 10 12 years now my twin brother when he eats he throws up back is that normal doctors no he has issues with his esophagus and his digestive system and they said the one we went for test almost 10, 12 years ago they said that there's a tube there's there's a place in the system that is supposed to be small and it's open and the place that is supposed to be open is small uh, what happened now while you were praying i called him on the phone yes. i called him on whatsapp to do video but he was not going through so i called him directly and i said just be saying amen they are calling your case just be saying amen right. and the more you you kept on saying that he, if he, if they stand up at night they can't sleep my brother doesn't sleep he will be up his back will be what's his wall. name king they are like this suru can then the name of jesus we use your sister as a point yeah, of Abuja at, at guarimpa he's in guarimpa now yes. in jesus name we perfect his condition amen. in the name of jesus amen. Is not a ruminant in the name of Jesus that that demonic thing stops now Amen. we normalize his organs in Amen. Jesus name Amen. and for you as a sister you're standing do you have your own testimony <laughs> no don't worry I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus whatever it is that God has done I seal it and I perfect it in Jesus name I pray Amen, Amen. yes sir all right so apostle you gave a precise word of knowledge yes sir. regarding a young man that is bleeding from his nose bleeding through your nose yes yes sir. i've been bleeding for more than 15 years actually it was um, one of the days i was playing when, while i was young and um, i just bent my head and suddenly i saw blood my and god I, there are I so was, many testimonies and okay, i was like i told my mom my mom said i should just pray so it has it happened even this morning while i was coming to church I and what happened to you now i felt that same sensation that the blood is going, is going to come out i was ashamed so i was just checking it a little bit and found out that there's Completely. no blood yes in the name of jesus christ 
may it never reoccur again Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Then, Apostle, I want Minister Kenny to read a profound testimony. You mentioned PID, something regarding PID. And now we have a testimony online. Daddy, we have amazing testimonies okay. online. We have someone from Kaduna got healed of PID. Daddy mentioned her case and she got healed instantly. We have someone else from Spain got healed of allergy. Whatever he eats, he throws up. He went to eat and has not thrown up since. We have another woman from Benin. Mm. Apostle mentioned that there is someone with difficulty in swallowing, like the throat is blocked. Yes. I keyed into it, she says, and kneeled in front of the television. And L Apostle let me tell you said, this. Let me tell you this. Just pause a moment, Kenny. Do you know, no matter where you are across the globe, we thank God for the privilege of technology, provided you can connect by faith. You see that in a moment the same thing god is doing here it's possible that you can even be here and not receive and someone can be at the ends of the earth it's about your connection by faith yes sir and apostle said that there is another person with the same case watching immediately he rebukes the condition i started belching i and i went to spit the Holy Spirit directed me to drink water and the anointing oil. I am healed. Completely. We have someone from Rwanda. Apostle wow. mentioned her case of breast pain. She got healed instantly. We have one more person, and we've not yet been able to ascertain his location. But he says he has balls all over his body for a long time. Boils. And it, yes. And immediately you mentioned that case. He says, balls moving from one part of my lap to another disappearing seasonally and as apostle ministered instantly i can see them i cannot see them again they all disappeared hallelujah Praise God. in the name of jesus christ amazing yes please four years arthritis healed arthritis pain, yes pain mama, in her legs for mama the past how long has that been since 2018 2018 yes. what happened to you i've been having pains i went for my younger brother's uh, wedding after the tradition on Sunday for us to come and give testimony, my two legs started pending me. I can't even walk. I, when I said, let me carry a stick, my husband will shout, how can you use stick and be walking? Yes, Actually, what happened to you now, ma? But now as we are praying for arthritis, the pains, I will, I, if it is the time that it was pending yes. me, I wouldn't have been standing for a, a long time here. Yeah. But now, the move your legs, Mama. Any pain? No pain. Any pain? Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? In the name of Jesus, you are free and free forever Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave word of knowledge of a woman who wakes up in the night and will not be able to sleep again. Yes, ma. The power of God touched her when you gave that word of knowledge, and she fell under the anointing, and she's healed now. Right now, completely. This, this is a son here to testify. This is the son. Yes. What happened to Mama? She has not been able to sleep, uh, especially since uh, last year when we lost our sister. And um, oh my well, God. I brought her to Abuja to stay with me for a while. Okay. And um, I noticed that trend. That we'll oh, she's not been God. able to sleep? No. She was, she was built to go back, but she said no, that she's going to stay for this miracle service. Let and me when... encourage you. Listen, let me use this opportunity and encourage you. You see, there are times, humanly speaking, there are certain kinds of losses, especially of people you love, that when it happens, it can wreck your whole life. At that point, no human can counsel you in a way that comforts. At such point, you have to tap into the ministry of the Holy Spirit called the Comforter. Men can comfort, but there is one called the Comforter. He can minister to you in a way that no man can. You can see her own, it's not just a medical condition. You lost your daughter, mama. So you can see, that's the pain of a mother. It's going to take a long time, but the Holy Spirit can come as a comforter. And I used Mama to pray for everyone who has been bereaved. I want you to receive by faith now. You've been bereaved within the last one year, especially that you are struggling. You don't know how to just, you have been asking questions. This is still a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, I use our mother here as a point of contact to pray for everyone here who has lost a loved one mother father brother siblings parents we stand as the church of the lord jesus christ and we declare that the holy spirit ministers to you in the name of jesus christ 
now i will tell you why i'm praying for you help that woman i will tell you something that you need to learn there is a spirit called the spirit of grief it only comes to you when negative things happen like losses it will steal into your emotion when the spirit of grief comes it will destroy you in a way that you cannot imagine it's good to mourn but there is a spirit called grief i learned this from pastor kenneth copeland i heard him teach about the spirit of grief now you can never you may never we, we cannot imagine what it takes by the privilege of the work that i do as a man of god um you know when people lose their loved ones i'm usually about the first to know and so whether or not i'm directly related to the people no matter how hard you are as a man of god sometimes you just have to be strong for their sake but you will still feel it because you are human but i have seen the spirit of grief slip through these moments and remain with people and families and destroy them i know people who resigned from their workplace resigned from everything and said you know what i know people who committed suicide have you heard of such things after they lost loved ones they went to kill themselves that one is no longer mourning it's the spirit of grief mama i use you as a point of contact in the name of jesus may the god of heaven by his spirit comfort you and i declare anyone here suffering from the spirit of grief as a result of the loss of a loved one be delivered from it now in jesus name i pray amen and amen yes one year arthritis healed confirmed by the medical doctors one year arthritis, one year arthritis, arthritis healed. which of the which of the legs left or right hepatitis hepatitis, hepatitis. oh hepatitis yes, gone go in the name of jesus i declare supernatural healing both of them no she put to bed 2018 and then her body has not been in a normal shape you get she back. could not yes she could not stand for a very long time but when you mentioned that case she fell under the anointing and then she's been standing completely completely healed in the name of her body jesus christ it will never return to you again my dear all of you who are standing you are healed right now in jesus name yes sir apostle his first time here in koinonia you're welcome just most welcome and yes god visited him hallelujah good evening apostle how are you over two months ago i had a, i just woke up and i had a pain in my private part and i had bruises all over i prayed over it it went two two weeks after it came back severely this is my first time here and i was upstairs i was praying as we were praying along the power of god hit me and the pain stopped i was just it's my first time i didn't know the protocol how to run out here to come and give the testimony I just came to just say, Jesus, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, that demonic thing will never return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Praise God. Very quickly, let's, let's see if we can reduce a few of these lines last and then we'll month, just pray. Last general. month I was here with uh, ulcer symptoms. Ulcer? Yes. Okay, what happened to you now? So when I went back home, I went to run a test and it was not there. Even here, last month, uh, in, in the night they tested me i was not having the ulcer but i was still having this symptom in the name of jesus i declare you are supernaturally healed by the power of the holy spirit yeah. yes please next person i felt the same ulcer two days ago so when i before i came here i didn't feel it but you've been healed of ulcer in jesus name let it never return to you again yes, sir. we need to hear this testimony. yes i've been Please i've been interested me. i've been looking at her yes 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 uh, I'm not too qualified to give this testimony, <laughs> so let me allow doctor. Come. Doctor, yes, please. Um, Daddy, this child has what they call juvenile diabetes. So it's just um, diabetes starting from an early doctors, age. Doctors, doctors, doctors. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, so you find them having very high level of blood sugar. So as of this morning, they had about 20, about 20. That was the blood um, level, um, sugar level that okay. they recorded this morning. So, 20? Um, yes. How old is she? 12, 12 years. years. So, usually they take, um, there's this drug, they take insulin just to help maintain the yes. sugar level. So, after the prayers and all, he believed, trusted God, and then they went to the medical stand, and then they checked the sugar level, and it was 3.3. <laughs> from 20 a 12 listen if satan does not spare a little girl like this 12 year old 20 my dear how are you Fine. father in the name of jesus christ 
we pray for this our little one it will never go beyond normal again in jesus name and in the name of jesus i declare you grow normally you are healthy in jesus name let's celebrate jesus god bless you yes please well, so apostle well this is not directly related to healing but yes. quite interesting um you know the people you called out and prayed for okay just praying for them sir her dad has been calling her she will she will explain father you mentioned um my father has done diabolical things you mentioned my father has done things with innocent people's blood and my father immediately i came out my father started calling me my he started father, calling you he started calling me immediately i came out he started calling me immediately i came out oh both of you you are sisters yes. where are you from kogi states he started calling you that what happened we haven't picked up the call because we know that he wants us to come back home what do we do to these things now <laughs> listen dear ones look at me you believe in jesus christ don't be afraid are you muslims you're christians don't be afraid um let me tell you something there is no weapon that is fashioned against you. You see, it's very difficult to do whatever you want to do because this is their father. I declare that no charm and no enchantment of darkness against you will strive. See, it's very difficult when the person who the devil is using is related to you. It's easy to shout and kill any other person who is not a relative, who is any other person. But now, this is, this, is, this is your own father. They love their father. Don't cry. Can we pray that God will save that man? That is a scriptural approach to these kinds of things. God is able to save unto the uttermost. Don't you think because he's involved in diabolic things, God cannot save him? Ask Saul, who became Paul. Father, we agree as a church right now arrest and visit the father arrest and visit the father we pray for his salvation and in the name of jesus we pray that he is preserved and as for you i use you as a point of contact to your siblings and i declare you are preserved supernaturally in jesus name please go in peace do not fear in jesus name apostle another case of rumination here regurgitation okay since when she was a teenager she has had that challenge she will eat it will come out then takes it back again but is that true when you mentioned that case the power of god came on her, so she went to drink water and then and it's, it's gone it's gone secondly a woman visited me 29th of january that i meant to serve a water a spirit. woman a woman she okay. has been calling me since last year the and woman has been calling you yes physically or spiritually physically, that i'm meant to serve water so Last where are you day, from I'm, I'm from enugu state and my father was so diabolic that two of my sister's husband have died one is a pastor that just passed on august last year so she came to 20 to uh, this 20 to, uh, 22 yes and said that i have to serve shirai that she leave church i told her no that i'm called to serve god not to serve shirai so when she left i saw a casket on my bed and the woman is late no the woman left but i was seeing a vision of a casket when she left my room so and i started having a kind of my head was as if i was bleeding so things i like don't this. kill but anybody that made a casket for you must enter inside it in the name of jesus christ let me say it again anybody that makes a casket for you i decree and declare what happened to her man the same way he built a, a gallow to defeat mordecai in the name of jesus i say it again anybody conspiring with darkness on account of your case they will they will they will get into their own destruction and in jesus name prophetically we warn that woman whoever she is in the name of jesus if she will not let you go she will follow the way of her man for sure in jesus name listen you are a believer don't let anybody threaten you this is a world that is full of people who will take advantage they will prey on your ignorance are we together nobody even jesus christ gave us room to choose him or any other thing don't let anybody force you and say you must worship this It's demonic i said before you life and death 
blessing and cursing he tells you to choose hallelujah okay yes, all right sir. sir so we have very interesting testimonies here he was here let's, last let's year. take two or, okay well Please, can, um, we just, can i are this all of these testimonies yes now here's what will happen um I, I want to be encouraging all those who come out it takes a lot of courage to come out and testify and sometimes because we are constrained by time here's what i want you to do from now on ushers or pr whoever when people come out like this to testify if they don't have a chance to testify what happens is that give them a chance to register their names so that by next sunday we can start with them to testify there are so many people to testify and because of time we'll just pick a few so i think pr or ushers those responsible can do that we when people come out and stand and they are not given a chance to testify they become discouraged another time are we together if if this were a, a vigil for instance we'll have enough time and then we have to do some other things and finish on time because there are people who stay very far this is what is uh, at the back of our rushing so many things generally a miracle service like this when you are dealing with issues you will need quite some time to really deal with matters in people's lives i'm sure one of these days god will grant us grace to do a vigil in the name of jesus christ where we would we'll take out time and really really address issues in people's lives in jesus name but for some of you who may not be allowed to testify please don't don't feel bad um make sure that we'll give you room next week you come um, we can start just quizzing to the service so that we give more time for testimonies and have them come to testify. But let's take maybe two or three so that we can finish um, right. because I want to speak over your life. Remember the four things we spoke about? Even before we pray over those requests, it must happen in your life. The spiritual progress must happen. The financial breakthroughs. Are they here for testimonies? If they are here for testimonies, just collect their testimonies. Mama is here for testimonies. What happened to you, Mama? Oh dear. Hallelujah. Have you have you vetted her? Okay. Mama, straight to the point, eh? God bless you. Um, technical help us, please. I'm among the uh, people that you said uh, something is moving all over their body. Okay. So as you prayed, the something left. It's me. gone. In Jesus' name, Mama, the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, Apostle. So we have, sorry, can we have the camera here? Just to, so he, he had a cast on his leg. Um, oh, and please show us. Can we see it? Is that possible? A cast. Last year. Last year he had a cast and he was healed when he came here and God followed up with another. Praise person. the Lord. My name is Farouk Danjuman. Last year when you started the Koinonia, I came here with crutches. And I told Oh, you myself, came here with crutches? Yes. What happened to you? And I said, my next visit to Koinonia will be, I won't come with the crutches. Yes. And you prayed, and that was the end right of that now, crutches. Right now, you're completely then, free. Yes. Then this one happened again. You know, I was on a platform, and I was about to fall, and then by my side, there was a snake. Then I screamed. That was a dream, a dream. So, and I what, what happened now? We don't have all that time, man. Eh? Just straight to the point. What did the Lord Jesus leg. Christ? And the, this, this hand refused to go after taking so many. And right very, now. And right now, yes. the Lord healed. We establish your authority over snakes and Amen. scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are Amen. perfected in Jesus' name. So, sir, Let's 10 years also healed by the Also, 10 years. Amen. Asthma. In the asthma. Name. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Asthma. asthma. Wow. Praise, praise. Sorry. This is the inhaler she uses. Okay. I was sitting right there, so I started feeling heavy pains. I started breathing very hard. So the next day I took my inhaler, and whenever I take my inhaler, I don't, I don't stand up at all yes. because it makes me weak. So you say we should put our faith in action. So yes. I stood up. Mira, I stood up. I hold the chair. When I closed my eye, some people held my back. I did not know the people. Then I saw as if I vomit, like in a vision. I saw myself as if I vomit.
committed a lizard and ran out. Last, uh, when I was 12 years, when I went to my family compound with my parents, there was a night I came out very early in the morning, so I saw a lion. Hold on, let me pray for them before they move, eh? Please, just stand, let me pray for you. Yes, go ahead. So I saw a lion very early in the morning. I never told anybody because nobody would believe me. So anytime before they asked me to come, I used to see this lion. So maybe I saw this, this lizard coming out of me when I, I, I bent down. I saw the lizard coming. When I and you are completely back, healed now. Yes, Breathe I went in to and the out. restroom. Breathe I in and out. The when I climbed the stairs. Breathe in and out. When I climbed the stairs. That's I, I all right, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate her. She's healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Now, supernaturally, oh dear, there's one more. Okay, let's take my that last since when she was a child. My so grain. My grain. In they G told her it's a pattern. But while you were praying, she fell under the anointing and then the migraine is Completely gone. gone. Healed. Demonic patterns gone forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's take the last one. Well, similar pains here. They all have been healed of one pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of you who are standing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Your healings remain permanent. Whether you came out to testify or not, every healing you have received tonight remains permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We have just five minutes of prayer. Have you submitted your requests? Lift it up very quickly. Ushers. Now, here's what will happen. Ushers, let's walk. We'll keep reinventing ourselves in the miracle service to, con to conserve time. What will happen is for every miracle service, as soon as we come, before praise and worship or afterwards, ushers just move around so that we submit the prayer request so that when it's time like this, we just have it um quickly we we have a few but then please lift it quickly pass it to the last person pass it to the last person at the the left or right aisle with dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskate bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kate kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. 